This is Dolany TV. My goodness, what a day yesterday was, ladies and gentlemen. A fantastic day to be an Edmonton Oilers fan if you're anything like me. That said, you know what? We get back to work today. You have all fun, all games yesterday. Well, now we have to see how the pieces shuffle and how everything works together. This is semi a game preview. This is semi a news recap. This is semi telling you there's going to be a stream at 8 o'clock tonight against the Ducks. This is semi Tyson getting home at 4.56 in the afternoon, sitting down saying, hey, I got to get some Oilers content up there because I got to follow up a crazy day yesterday. I want to tell you, I know I... I've kind of been public on the stream sharing kind of the numbers scheme. I'm going to tell you one thing we did yesterday. My friends, you and I, combined, I put out a crazy number of videos. You guys watched a crazy number of videos. It was my best watched day, most watched day, I guess the correct term, ever as an Edmonton Oilers YouTuber. Like, I've, I've done several other days where I've had crazier stuff, but I wasn't covering the Oilers then. Yesterday, in excess of 6,000 views here on Dolan TV. That's 6,000 people coming through the gate saying hi to a trade video to something, and that was absolutely phenomenal, guys. That was nuts. That's a crazy, like I said, that is the best day ever, and that's the best day ever by a long, long stretch. So thank you so much for making me a part of your trade deadline day. That means the world to me. It means I made a good decision to stay home, take a vacation day off work, and make sure I got you the news as soon as it broke on live television. That said, if you're new to the channel and you're like, oh man, I'm returning because I'm seeing this video and I want to make sure I stay tuned for all the Oilers news, come and tune the rest of the way home. Well, you see the graphic below me. I don't just build these things for fun. Definitely consider hitting that subscribe button that's just below the video or clicking on my channel and hitting it. And I'm trying to hit that 8,000 marker and there is a strong possibility if everybody who's new to the channel clicks that button this week, over the course of the next four days, we can hit 7,600 subscribers here on Dolan TV before the month's end. And that would be nuts to hit 7,500 and then 7,600 in the same month. That said, we've got news to get to, so let's start this right here. Kyler Yamamoto, out of the Edmonton Oilers lineup week to week. The news is, um, I, I read the Jason Greger tweet on Jason Strudwick's kind of breakdown of it being three to four weeks. A high ankle sprain for Kyler Yamamoto. Uh, if I took that Gregor tweet correct, it was a half joke, so I'm not sure if three to four weeks, I, I mean, the way it was worded, it seems like a half joke, I might just not know anything, and completely it's facts, and that's fine, and like I'm saying, I'm throwing three to four weeks out there because it's in a Gregor treat, tweet, and that's fine. Then again, like I said, I, I don't know Jason Strudwick's background, and there was a little bit of background given there, and I, I feel like it was a joke, but, I mean, who am I to say? So, Tyler Ennis, McDavid, Athanasiu. Talk about a difference two days makes when it comes down to the Oilers' top line. Two nights ago in L.A., our top line was Gagne and, of course, Chase on up there with Connor McDavid. Wow, this is incredible to see the difference two days makes and a couple of trades at the deadline. Ennis, a 33-point player, neither of those guys are. Anthony Sioux, a 24-point player. Chase Hall might be a little bit close to that. Still not there. That is a lot more scoring. 10 goals and 14 goals on the wing for Connor McDavid tonight, as opposed to, I think, Gagne had, what, five? Chase on has seven or eight. So think about that, right? I got the pen here for a reason. Do the math. That sounds like more goals because now you got better goal scorers playing with Connor McDavid. And don't forget about the speed of Anthony Sioux. Now, the fun fact is, I think Oilers fans, especially if he scores tonight, I think what you'll see him most on Twitter is happy to see you. And that's kind of what uh, kind of what the nickname's become in here in the past 24 hours since acquiring Andre's Athanasiu. See, I, I know how to say this because I back in a, f a few g years ago, I did NHL video game coverage and I traded for him in my NHL franchise mode. I like Tyson's peeking around the corner and seeing what's up for the Oilers. Uh, and a lot of people corrected me several times after doing one video. So Athanasiu is how I say it. That's how I was told to say it. So that's how it's said. Now, R&H, Settle, and Archibald. Yes, I told you Yamamoto's out of lineup. So that's what we're going to have to roll. That's what we're going to have to do with. That is fine. That is dandy. We're gold. Granlund. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, hold on. I didn't get to that news there. 
my friends. I did not get there. Granlund recalled from the Bakersfield Condors due to the injury to Mr. Kyler Yamamoto. So he'll start on that third line. A completely new look third line tonight with Granlund, Sheehan, and Chason making it all together. I should really let my cat in. I'm not going to do that. She can get out there and scratch all she wants. She needs to learn the lesson at some point to use her head and give up. Kara, Haas, Russell on that fourth line. Guys, if there is ever a time I want to see this fourth line bite a goal tonight, would be it. Because, let me tell you, we added these guns, right? We added Ennis, we added Athens CU. It's time to get contributions up and down the lineup. Absolutely roll over, right? Just like, throw that statement game over. That 8-1, that 8-0 game that just says, Sorry, we made these moves for one reason. Sportsnet's already talking about the Oilers trying to push for a long playoff run. Ladies and gentlemen, it is tonight time to show us that we're going to do that. Cat's distracting me. You guys, if you watched me in the summertime, you'd know how much I hate that sound that's scratching on the door. That said, Nurse Bear, Jones, Larson, and Legison and Green are your defensive pairings. Yes, yes, you heard another name in there that we acquired at the trade deadline. Mike Green makes his debut as an oiler on the third pairing of defense. Zap now in here. The peace, the quiet, can sustain. Ennis. We'll wear number 63. Athanasiu will be wearing number 28. And Mike Green will be wearing number 27 for there are Edmonton Oilers this evening. Mike Smith starts in net. The dude has lost one regulation game this season. And what I need to remind you, what I need not remind you, I guess I should say, is the simple fact that the Edmonton Oilers, as it currently stands... Have a total. Let me see if I can get that uh, standings there. Can I get the standings? Do they have the standings? Yes, they do. The standings say the Oilers have a total of 20 games left. The Oilers have to hit 94 points to make playoffs. So, what's the math say? What's the math say if the Oilers need to make playoffs and have 94 points needed to do that and have 73 points in 62 games? The math Simply said, how can I not bring her up here if you guys had to listen to her all that time? Simply said, the math says we need 21 more points. Well, that tells me we need 11 more wins in a total of 20 games. And if you're kidding me, that's Oilers team after making the trade deadline moves we did. Can't go pretty much 500 hockey the rest of the way home to get 44 wins, 31 losses on the year, and 7 overtime losses for a total of 95 points is essentially what that would give us. Well, my friends, whoo! Let me tell you, you're mistaken because 11 and 9, the amount of times people have written this Oilers team off and they've come back from the dead and gotten the job done. Wow, all right, let's get the job done one more time. We got 20 games, it's the stretch drive, and it starts tonight against the Anaheim Ducks. And let me tell you, I, I think you can kind of figure it out. I think realistically you can figure it out how excited I am for this stretch drive to kick off tonight because. Let me tell you, we've all of a sudden, this Oilers team goes through January, rebuilds the trust of the fans, those who had jumped off the bandwagon, those who were hanging on by a thread, and those that uh, were diehards but needed results. Well, let me tell you, we got them in January, we're getting them here in February with Connor McDavid, with Connor McDavid, and suddenly, well, all right, let's go for a ride, shall we? We've got 20 games to sit here and enjoy some Oilers hockey down the stretch, right? That's all that's left of the 19-20 regular season. And then, we're sitting at that 94, 95 point special mark. We're talking at least a guaranteed four games extra, right? In the playoff season. Ooh, this season. That would be fantastic. So guys, we're in it to win it now. That's what Dave, uh, well, that's what Ken Holland said. And I think I have to get you to Dave Tippett quote from today. This is a fantastic quote that I absolutely loved to pieces. Jack Michaels quoted it. Uh, let's see where it is. Where is it? I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. It's simply put about Mr. Jack Michaels asking, well, why Dave Tippett paired the new guys, right? Athens CU and Tyler Ennis with Connor McDavid. Tippett had one phrase to say. Pretty much. Summed up, it's welcome to Edmonton. Secondarily to that, the actual phrase is it's a housewarming gift. Yeah, that's that's fun, right? That's fun. We actually give 
Connor McDavid, the biggest gift he could have asked for this season. Legit NHL wingers to play with. Let's not kid ourselves. Athens U was a third goal scorer last year. And Tyler Ennis riding a high. Keep him going. Keep him going. When the guy's hot, light him up. Let's see what we can do down the stretch, right? If down the stretch we had Ty Ratty and Ryan Nugent Hopkins running Ram shot on the top line with Connor McDavid a couple of years ago. Why can't it be Tyler Ennis and Andres Athens CU especially? Thing is, Zach Cassian on the top line works early on in the year. I don't know if it's going to work later on, but Zach Cassian in the bottom six works well in the playoffs, right? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We remember 16, 17. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is Stall on TV. I'm going to head on out. I'm going to get my supper done. I'm going to salt the sidewalk. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a little bit of an evening here, and then I'll join you at 8 p.m. Mountain Standard Time back here on Dolan TV on the live feature as we discuss the Anaheim Ducks game in real time. I'm not at Troy's house tonight, so we're not talking about uh, live streaming in real time and having those reactions we did against the Kings. But that said, I can actually break things down a little bit more logically because I'll know it's coming and I can watch for what happens and leads to the play. Guys, I'm Tyson. This is Dolan TV. Get that hype train going. She's going to be a good one. And definitely, i got to throw you the ad one more time. If you've stuck with me and you're not subscribed yet and you stuck with me for 11 minutes and 10 seconds first, you're a trooper. I'm not everyone's cup of tea, and I know that. But if I am yours, hit that subscribe button for more content because it's coming out every single day. I don't know if you watched the trade deadline day yesterday, but baby, let's go. She was a good day, and thank you so much for being a part of it. I will catch you guys in the next one.